it's still October. You know what that means, Matt Emerson? Hmm. Business planning month. Today, we are going to talk about the actual written business plan. Wow. Really, we are. We're going to show you how to do a real estate business plan. So come on, join us on the Wandering But Not Lost podcast. This is the Wandering But Not Lost WBNL podcast, where real estate and reality meet. And now your hosts, Jan O'Brien and Matt Emerson. Well, welcome to the Wandering But Not Lost podcast, where real estate and reality meet. This is episode 186. You can find all of our show notes over at WBNLpodcast.com. It is business planning month, Jan O'Brien. And here we go. We're we're one more week away. Should we just just should we just jump right in? Should we just get right into the plan? Yes, because we're going to see how well I can communicate today for our podcast listeners. And for those of you finding us over on YouTube, then you're going to get to see the visuals. But we have been up to this point talking about, let's review what we've been talking about. And you can go back to the previous podcast in case you've missed them. We started the, the month off with talking about reviewing your business, your year to date and how to finish that year strong, right? Finish up the year, no matter when you're listening to this, then the second step was to write goals. We did that last week and we shared a uh, how to get our free business planning course and stuff with you, which today leads us to the, you know, the star of the show for business planning, if you will, which is the actual document. And I'm going to walk through that with everybody today. And then what we're going to finish up uh, the official business planning next week where we'll talk about now that you have got a business plan. We'll talk a little bit about measuring and tracking your results, creating your little success action plan. I've been actually working on a new checklist, Matt, that I want to use for myself. That's going to help me make it look awesome. And then we'll, we'll get into maybe sharing some of that with you in upcoming episodes about um, really digging into, you know, tools that will help you stay on track. How's that? Sweet. Love it. All right. So the business plan that we created used to be eight tabs. It's in Excel. Had it for years. Uh, shout out to David Squire. Our good friend and fellow coach who years ago when we worked together at Prudential, and I was actually technically, I think, his broker at the time. Oh, that'd be he, unusual. You're hardly anyone's broker. He took the some great content that we had from a, a business planning person who had written a book. I think her name was Carla something. I can't think of her name last night. I want to say Carla Ross, but that was actually a real estate agent that worked with me. Anyway, he created a spreadsheet, and then we made changes to it over the years, and then we decided to make it a little bit a little simpler. So now we basically have, and, and honestly, I was tired of people saying, Matt, I want to make a hundred thousand dollars. And then they didn't really know what their numbers were. So we're, I'm very excited to say, you know, last year or two, we redid our business plan to start with these. I'm going to cover the six areas and I'm going to kind of walk you through how easy our business plan is to use. And first and most important thing is your financials. More on that in a second. Can you go back a second? I just want to talk about all six of these. So it's knowing what your budgets are and how much money you want to make, then turning it into how many goals. So you're just not picking a number out of the air. Then once you know how many closings you need, we need to also talk about how many presentations and appointments you need to go on. And then to get those appointments, we're going to show you how to figure out how many contacts you need to make, depending on how you're going, what kind of prospecting you're going to do. Then we have a little cool action plan built into the to the business plan. And then we have, to me, the best part of this thing, which is tracking your production. Yeah, wait till we get to that part, guys, because uh, Jan gets a little giddy during the I part. do, but it's going to be hard to show on the podcast, but I will describe why it's so magical. You know, all Before I know is we it. haven't, this has been a work in progress for, gosh, the six years we've known each other, but or the uh, that we've been at WBNL, or WBNL coaching, but we literally, this thing has changed a bunch of times. We really do love business planning. I think, honestly, although nothing is perfect, this is pretty darn close to it, right? And it's easy to use because, exactly. the key, you know, you just need some tool that's going to help you do the numbers, the number crunching, and then it's all about the actions that you take. So we'll, we'll go through this today and then everything from this po point forward, we'll be talking about things that you can do to generate and hit those goals. So we start with the first tab of the spreadsheet and it is your financials. And it's so cool because before you jump into the business plan, this is your homework. You've got to go figure out your business expenses and you need to annualize them. Guess what? We have a document for you for that. Huh. And also for your living and household expenses. So you need to know what those numbers are. Those are the first two things to put into this first page of the business plan. And it does the auto calculating, by the way, since we built it in a spreadsheet, you can upload it to Google Drive and it will do the calculations also. The formulas will work. 
and you'll be able to let it do the heavy lifting for you. So if you've never done your business expenses, then it's time to do that. Figure out what do you need for everything from your licensing to education to what you spend on marketing and advertising and so on. And you need to put that into the business expense area. Now, when it comes to personal expenses, the thing I always tell people is, do you need 100% of your money to pay all your living expenses coming from real estate? Then that's the number you're going to put in here. But if you have if you, if you you have someone else that you live with and it's 50-50 or you have other sources of income, all I want you to do is, let, let's say it costs you $60,000 a year to live. Okay, That's your living expenses, all your, all your um, payments on everything. Everything from spending money to car payments to mortgage or rent, everything. Let's say it's, you know, five grand a month. And you need it all come from real estate. Then $60,000 needs to go into the business plan. But if you only want to get $30,000 from your real estate income to cover that, then put that amount in. Put whatever proportionate amount you need into this business plan. Can the I stop you right there? Wait, can yeah, I stop please. you right there? Because those first two lines blow that $100,000 number already out of the water. Unless exactly. you want to, you know, which, which will leads right to your third line here. But it's like, holy crap. Yes, thank you. So we added the most important line here, which is how much profit do you want to make? There you go. We're adding this up before we figure out taxes, okay? So how much profit do you want to make? And then the next thing that we've added to this is I like adding another column called savings, retirement, and funds. So you want to make a profit. So let's say you want to make 50 grand in profit or 40 grand in profit or whatever. And that's where you can play with this a little bit is to move that because you know what your expenses are. They are what they are. You can play with the profit part. But maybe I'm going to throw in here because maybe Jan needs this is to say you want 10,000 to go in savings or you want a six month, you know, supply, not supply, but what do you, what's the word I'm looking for? Mm -hmm. Six months of uh, living expenses or whatever to be in a emergency fund. There's a, bo a box for that. Now that's going to subtotal for you automatically. Now you can do an estimated tax payment. Now it's not going to do your estimated tax payment for you. All I'm saying to you is if that number adds up to $144,000, take somewhere between 20 and 25% right. of that and put that number in the tax payment area just to be high, you know, a high estimated high. Why? Because obviously we're not taking into account all your deductions and I'm not an accountant, but why not just figure out a 20%, 25% for taxes? Now you get an annual gross closed commission goal that actually means something to you if you do the work. That's I all you have to do. I people to go out there and play with this and try to make that be 100,000. <laughs> Exactly. So if somebody tells me a hundred thousand, I'm going to say, great, give me a breakdown of your business expenses, your household expenses, your profitability margin for this year, um, anything else that you were working on and your taxes. And then we'll, I'll believe that that number means something to you. All there right. You so then it's going to take that number and move it to the second tab of our spreadsheet for you. And it puts it up there. And then you're going to see two columns in this very easy to do closing goal uh, part of the worksheet. So listings and sales, and you literally can customize this any way you want. I'm going to hit the areas for those of you that are listening. And then you can go over to um, the YouTube channel and watch this. You can go just get Matt. How do they get our free course, by the way, before I move any further? You can ahead. get our free course over at WBNLcoaching.com. Um, we, uh, we have two courses up there, but I would recommend downloading our free course called a real estate uh, agent fundamentals. And in that course, you'll get all of the, uh, the documentation, the spreadsheet that we're talking about here, but as well as the expenses and the, the business budget and all of that, as well as all your goal writing, um, uh, tools and, um, affirmations and everything you need for business planning over at the real estate, um, Fund, Agent Fundamentals course in the freebies section of WBNLcoaching.com. And you can't beat a freebie. You can't Sign beat the freebie. No. We have a plethora of freebies for you. We do. The business planning is just one of them. So what you'll see when you're in here is that, that number from the first page, in my example, 144. And then you simply go, what percentage of your business, closed business, do you want to come from listings? And you put that number in and it will calculate the other part. So if I want 80% to come from listings, it'll put the 20% over in the sales side. Then it will break that commission down into 80-20. Then the next thing you do, these are variables for each of us. What's your average sales price for a listing? And what's your average sales price for a buyer side transaction? You pop, put those numbers in. Okay. And then the next thing that you can do is change the percentage of gross commission, you know, the, the commission that is paid. 
Is it 2.5? Is it 2.75? Is it 2.8? You make those modifications and then it will take the average sales price times the commission amount, do the gross commission. Then there's areas in the spreadsheet for you to put in what is your split with your broker. Do you pay uh, a certain fees out of every transaction? Do you pay a transaction coordinator fee? Do you have a doc fee of some sort? There's a place for you to put that in. All that gets down to what is your take home? What's your take home? What's your agent dollar per unit, your net per closing? Then you can come down and the last part of this is to say, but hey, Jan, 100% of your listings and sales may not close. So there's a spot for you to say what percent of units are going to close. And I recommend, of course, in this hot market right now, it's 85, 90%, but don't use 100% because you will have a deal fall out. Again, I like to err to the side of being conservative for business planning. And um, that way, if you blow these numbers away, then you'll really hit your goals and then some. Okay, so that's going to now break it down into 144,000 equals this many listings and this many sales based on your variables. And then it takes it automatically, those numbers for your listings and sales, over to the next tab. And step three in this plan, the next tab is the uh, how many presentations that you're going to need. And it will say total prospects needed, prospects, presentations, however you want to look at that. And all it this does is it breaks it down into sellers and buyers because obviously we that's how we're focusing our business plan and then it's going to use uh, i think i have it built into a two to one ratio or a three to one ratio that's where you're going to be able to change the ratio number um if you're new to the business you might want to use a three to one ratio meaning you need to go on three listing appointments to get one right. if you're getting mostly business by referral i'd use one and a half not everybody is going to list with you or two you simply change that area where it says, how many, uh, what's your ratio to close, appointments to close, then how many weeks per year do you want to work? I don't think you're going to work 52. I have 48 built into the spreadsheet. Then it's simply going to tell you, you need this many presentations per week and per month. And the same thing for the sales side. So far, so good. Easy, right? Easy peasy. Okay, so now it, it's still numbers. It's still like, if you want to make this much money, you've got to go on two listing appointments and one have one buyer that you're working with monthly. And so far, it looks good. Now, the next part is the is the tricky part. The, the next part is, all right, if you're going to need three or four listing appointments, how are you going to get them? So the next part of the spreadsheet, the fourth tab is about contacts. And this is where we're using some of the Mike Ferry numbers and that are saying things like you need to make 150 uh, cold calls to get one lead, or you're going to knock on a hundred doors to get one person that might want to talk to you and 10 for sell by owners and 15 expires. These are just numbers that are out there in the real estate universe. A lot of it is uh, really driven by Mike Ferry because that's what they're all about. And it, it allows you to go into the area that you'll see on the spreadsheet in green and say, I want you know, uh, 60, 70 percent of my business is going to come from my sphere. And that still requires a 50 to one ratio of you're staying top of mind with them. You're sending emails monthly. And over time, you need to have on average 50, 50 connections with someone uh, to be able to get business or get them to refer something to. You You know what I mean? So it could be a text. It could be a call. It could be just some, it just could be your monthly email that you're sending out. It's not hard to get 50 in a year. OK, that's what we're talking about. And then it's going to let you. Uh, figure out, do the math for you and say, then you need to meet, if, if you have to make 50 and you have the, and this much business is going to, you know, 65% of your business is going to come from this. Here's how many calls you need to be making weekly or connections. Let me just call it connections, text, video text, calls, something, even an email. This is how many you have to do on a weekly and a daily basis. That's what this next step does for you, which is super powerful. Okay. And then it takes us over to your action plan. So now we've done everything from, you know what your financials are, you know how much money you want to make, you know how many listings and sales you need to do, how many presentations and how many contacts based on the type of prospecting that you're going to do. Now you got to start tracking your results. And so we built into a thing that says it will bring in your listing presentations and your buyer presentations. And then you need to pull in and, and make the commitments. And we have a, a very, very simple little thing that you could download separately that just says, Monday through Sunday, what days are you taking off? And then a few ideas around, are you doing your one to two hours of lead gen? How many calls and texts are you committed to doing this day and conversations and other things that you're doing? You, you, you put whatever you want in here. There's stuff for daily and weekly, like you know, getting your newsletter out, talking to this many people, 
uh, maybe doing an open house weekly. Okay, so that's going to help you with that. And then it leads us to the last and most fun part of this spreadsheet, which is tracking your production. So I want you to envision, for those of you that have been in the business like Matt and I for a while, I want you to envision a good old fashioned whiteboard. We all have them, some of you still have them. And you know what I mean, it's a dry erase whiteboard that you have up in your office somewhere and you, this is where you put your listings and your sales up because you want to look at it every day. Yeah. And I'm for it, however, I still think you need to have a version of it that's online. So what this lets you do, and this is super cool color coded, all you have to do is put in the pertinent information, the client information, the address, is a listing or a sale? What's the, you know, all the, all the, um, you know, pertinent information, what's the list price and so on. And it will calculate for you. And in the training, I show you exactly how to do this. So go get our free training and I show you how to add your listings and then put the dollar amount or the volume amount in a certain column and it turns it green. So when anytime you look at this, you can see green means closed, uh, blue means active listing, and orange means it's in escrow or under contract. And so at any given time, if you keep this updated or your assistant helps you keep it updated, you can go up to Google Drive, which is where we recommend that you use. Super simple, easy to do if you're a Gmail or a Google person. And anybody that is working with you, or even if you don't have anybody working with you, if you're anywhere in the world on vacation, you can go online and see what's happen up with your escrows and your deal, uh, your listings and everything. This is not where you put your leads. This is real production. It's either an so, yeah, yeah. What is this really? What's this going to help you with as you start your process next year? That's exactly right. You yeah. what it does is the whole first uh, part of October we did review your business. This becomes the document that tells you everything you need to know. How many listings did you take? How many sold? What's your average sales price? Is? What's your average list price? Um, how much did you, you know, you, you get all the information. This does the heavy lifting for you, but it doesn't do it magically. It doesn't know how to go put all the information in when you have That's a listing. Right. Okay. So look and at this. I was gonna say, Matt, huh? Go ahead. I wanted to say, what I love about Google Drive is we're all mobile. Um, I have Drive on my phone. And so I can go into the draw any one of our many drives and pull up things that I need. Uh, not as easy to look at, you know, on your phone, but if you needed to get to something, you can do it on your phone. You need to be a mobile, modern real estate agent in this document. You, and you know what? Um, if you are finding your business planning a little bit laborious, just think about that one thing. You're already getting ahead of it for next year. So see, you're really kind of working your plan for this year and you're already ahead That's of right. the game for next year if you just keep this tracking sheet up to date throughout the year. I, I love this sheet. And, you know, I have a couple of coaching clients that say, look, Jan, this I love this sheet because it, it's the it's the results. This is the thing that is helping you see like, oh, I'm doing better. You know how many people, Matt, when I'm chatting with, I go, how many transactions do you have so far this year? They're like, uh... You know what? I don't even know. So right. they're not treating it like a true business. But if you have that, you can go, hold on a second. I don't have it memorized, but here it is. Here's my numbers. So, exactly. All right. So that is the business plan. Next week, we're going to now jump in and, and talk about um, measuring and tracking. And I really want to get everybody fired up about, you know, setting up those good habits and the things that you need to do and, and uh, to finish out the year and have a, a great beginning to the new year because of what you do right now. Right. All right, Matt, what else do we have for him? We do have an event coming up, right? If we somebody do really have wants, an event let's coming talk up. about this event we have coming up because we are really going to dive in. And I am going to demonstrate in this free training how to do the business plan, but we're really going to talk in depth on um, 15 strategies to help you compete and win. I think that's what we're calling it. We don't want to just do a boring um, business plan class this year for free. We want to Yes, of course, talk about business planning, but really share with you the, the strategies that are working for us That's and right. others around the country. So when is it and what do they do, Matt? Okay, hold on. I'm just trying to get the flyer up here so everyone that is watching can actually We're see. We're excited because we have some new marketing material. Yeah, and it's beautiful, but how come I'm making this even smaller? It's supposed to be getting bigger. Oh, no, it's going smaller, not larger. There, there we go. go. Now it's getting bigger. Um, the class is called 15 Real Estate Essentials uh, to Compete and Win in 2022. It is going to be held on Wednesday, November 16th. Tuesday. Pardon me? Tuesday. 
Or, excuse me, Tuesday. I'm sorry. Two, thank you. Let's get the right date, shall we? Tuesday, November um, 16th. It is going to be on Zoom. So we're going to be getting a lot more information out to you uh, very shortly. Uh, we uh, uh, are also going to be doing it in our Dream Builders Facebook group. So if you're a Dream Builder already, you can join us right in the Facebook group and you will be able to, uh, to, to join us right there. But there, this is a plethora of information. We're going to go over business planning again. That's one thing we're going to touch on. But you know what? Setting up your next year is not all about just making your plan and writing down some goals. It's like figuring out how you're actually going to achieve those goals. And we're going to really spend a lot of our time in execution and ways to really increase and enhance your business strategies for 2022. So you can actually have fun and make a lot of money as well. Yes. And you're going to get a plethora of downloads like we always give. Goodness gracious, we give away too much stuff. We do. But, you know, you take what you want and make it yours. I, I really, we really, not just me, we believe in not, you know what you need. Everyone knows what they need, but it, no one has time to sit and create the checklist or do the business plan or do this or do that from scratch. That's what's great about the things that we have. We've taken things from over the years. We've honed them. We've gotten them better, stuff that we use, and we're sharing it with you. Right. It's going to be good stuff. So I'm looking forward to good, that. Right. Yeah. And, um, and you know, speaking of dream builders, if you haven't joined our dream builders group, we do really recommend that you do that. You can just go over to WBNLcoaching.com, click on the big green button at the very top of the uh, website and join our dream builders. And if you join our dream builders group, you get instant access to all of our free courses and all of our free bees downloads and spreadsheets and our epic modern agent epic checklist, which Jan O'Brien's been working on. And it is a, just a little 13 page checklist. It's going to keep you awesome. Involved. And it's epic. It, it is epic. I have to say. So that's all good. So go over to the site and take care of that and join our dream builders group. Uh, yes. Around 200 people right now, which is actually fantastic. So I'm looking forward to adding another few hundred to that list as well. All right. We're ready to have a good weekend. It's fall. I don't know if it's fall in your neck of the woods, wherever you are, listeners, but my goodness, it's very nice in Florida to have some cool weather. Anything for Halloween? You doing anything Halloween-y this year? Not, not that I'm aware of at the moment. But yeah, we're, really not, uh, we're not really either, but I can say, Jan, I know that you are a Marvel fan. Do you, uh, on Disney Plus, have you watched um, the What If animated series no, of Marvel. I actually started and I kind of fell asleep, but I was like, you know what? I want to go back to it. Is it okay, good? They're really, really good. There's one of them because they're just, you know, like the very first one, it's like, what if Captain America, it wasn't Captain America. What if Agent Carter was like the Captain, uh, America, right? And it's really cool fun. because, you know, she's British. So it's not the star on there. It's like the British, you know, um, mm -hmm. it's, really cool. it's animated too. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, so it's all stuff like that. There's one of them where there are zombies. It's, you know, it's like way out there. So here's the deal. At Disneyland, they have, uh, during the Halloween season, they have a special uh, thing called the Disneyland, um, it's called the Oogie Boogie Bash, where it's a separate, separate ticketed event. In the Marvel Adventure, Adventure Campus, they have a zombie Captain America. It is the coolest thing. If you haven't seen this, you got to go to YouTube and you got to find it. It is the creepiest thing in the world. It's a live zombie Captain America. Very cool. Oh, my God. Hey, anyway. speaking of speaking of Marvel, the Marvel characters. What about the new video? I mean, the new, new movie coming out, um, the one with the alien. The, the, the folks are aliens. Oh, the right. Eternals! From, yeah, uh, that looks so Eternals. good. Yeah, and that's why looks, we, that great director that that won the Academy Award. Yeah, right? it, it looks Marvel fantastic. Movie. I don't know, Marvel. Yeah, it's, it's, coming it, 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 it's coming out soon. Right? Yeah, it is. Uh, it excites me. I think it comes out in November. I think it's a Thanksgiving yep. thing. So anyway, I'm All right, there you go. We got something to go do. Are you going to go to the movies? We, are you good about going into the theater? We have not been to a movie yet, so I don't know. I'm still a little bit weird about all that, but I don't know. Won't we'll take see. long for it to make its way to Disney. That's the thing I'm loving days. Disney Plus. I have no issue. I, I don't. I, it's kind of weird. I know that when I go back to the movie theater, I'll be like, oh, I missed this. But right now, I kind of just like the bed. <laughs> anyway. All right. All right, people. Uh, next week, as Jan mentioned, we're going to be measuring and tracking our success. That is all good. So we'll finish go our business planning officially, and yeah. uh, we'll get into some fun things for November. And don't forget, November 16th, just get on our mailing list. Get on over to our site, yeah. join our Facebook group. You'll get notified when we have anything happening. And this one's going to be a big event, a lot of great material, a lot of great ideas. That's right. 
All right, everyone, right. just, uh, you know, relax. Take a breath, everyone. I think right now, everyone might need just to take a little bit of a breath. Take a little breath, relax, get up, get out. Freaking be nice to everybody. Be nice to each other, people. And be forever wandering, but not lost. That's right.